In this video, we're going to do a little game theory that deals with infinitely repeated games. We have two firms playing an infinitely repeated game. Output decisions are made simultaneously every period. Here's the payoff matrix where the numbers represent profits. Firm A can restrict output or expand output. Firm B has the same decisions or choices. What is each firm's expected payoff if both firms agree to restrict output? If both firms agree to restrict output, we'll have 50 and $50 of profit going to each firm. The expected payoff of the agreement then of agreeing to restrict output is going to look like this, uh, where right now each firm would get $50 of profit. One year from now, it would be 50 times D. Two years from now, 50 times D squared and so on where the D represents the discount rate. So since a dollar today is more valuable than a dollar tomorrow, we need to discount these future profits. This is a uh, sum of a geometric series, which will simplify nicely to the following. Okay, And that would be the expected payoff of, of the agreement if both firms restrict uh, output. Now let's suppose both firms are playing a grim trigger strategy. So if one firm were to deviate from the agreement, uh, the other, f uh, either f both firms would decide never to restrict output again. They would just play the expanding output uh, option. And what we want to find here is what is the expected payoff of firm A cheating on the agreement to restrict output. So here again is the payoff matrix. If firm A were to cheat, that is not restrict output, and decide to cheat from the beginning uh, by expanding output, firm A would get 60. Okay, so that's where the 60 is coming from. Firm A is deviating from the agreement. However, after that, the other firm will never cooperate, and that's firm B will never cooperate. So firm B will be expanding output every period in the future and as a result the best thing for firm A to do would be to expand output so that's where these 30s are coming from in the future both firms will be expanding output this is again a sum of a geometric series and it'll simplify to something nicely like this and so the next thing I want to do is let's find the discount rate that makes firm A indifferent between agreeing to restrict output and cheating on the agreement. So for that to be true, the expected payoff of agreeing to restrict output needs to equal the expected payoff from cheating, expanding output. So we'll set both of those equations equal to one another. Here we found the expected payoff of agreeing to restrict output equals this on the left-hand side. And we just found the expected payoff from cheating is represented by this uh, mess on the right-hand side. Uh, let's just solve for D. Uh, so the first thing I do is I subtract 50 from both sides. So that's where this 10 is coming from. Uh, the next thing I do is I multiply both sides through by 1 minus D. So that'll just leave us with 50D on the left-hand side. And then also multiplying the right-hand side through by 1 minus D, we'll have just 30D and then 10 multiplied by 1 minus D. Simplifying further, subtracting 30D from both sides, we get this. Then adding 10D to both sides. And then finally, dividing through by 30, the discount rate at which uh, f the, the firm will be indifferent between cheating on the agreement or abiding by the agreement is one-third. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.